Ian Harvey here from Volvo Construction Equipment. Today I've got the world expert Dr. Ferris Biney with me and we're going to talk about a revolutionary system called Volvo Density Direct. Doctor, can you start to walk me through it, how it works please? So uh, before I talk about how it works, I'm gonna give you a small idea about the system itself. So uh, okay. Volvo Density Direct is basically like an iPad, you know, like how the iPad or big right. iPhone, if you want to say, and it also has an app on it, like how you have an iPhone app or an iPod app. And uh, the good thing about the Density Direct app or application, it is very user friendly, very intuitive. Anybody can use it. It's so so if I'm an use. operator, it's it's like working my big iPhone basically. Yes, yes. And the learning curve is really really small. Like Excellent. it won't take too much time to get familiar to it. It's very user friendly, uh, and. All what the system does is basically give you a map of the asphalt mat that you're compacting with right. a density color-coded grid on it right. or temperature grid or right. pass ma counting grid. Okay, so, so that's what it gives me. How do I set it all up? How do I get going with doing this? F first, you need to set up the job. Like You need to enter the information of the job site where you're compacting, you know, right. the lift, the material type, the uh, foreman name, all the details about the job itself. It's good for uh, archiving the data because the, the density direct will save the data for you. So oh, all the yeah. data you collect will be saved on the, on the device. Uh, once you entered all the information about the asphalt mix and the asphalt mat, you need to calibrate before you uh, start using it. And uh, the calibration process is also very intuitive, very user friendly. Right. Uh, what you need to do, you need to have a test strip, and okay. the contractors are uh, fam familiar with it. Yes, uh, of course. They use it to get the rolling pattern usually. It's the same idea. And the uh, test strip can be part of the road that you're paving. It doesn't need to be a separate piece of okay. uh, pavement. It, needs, it can be on the job. So once the operator and the machine are ready for calibration, mm -hmm he or she, the operator, would move the machine on the test strip right. and turn on the vibration. And then on the display, he would hit the, push the uh, calibrate button. Okay. At that point, the display would uh, place red dots on the test strip right. uh, showing where the test locations are going to be. Three okay. of them. Yeah. Three. Uh, they are in red at first, red dots. And red means the operator did not go over the core locations yet, or the test locations yet. Uh, once he go over the test locations one time, these red dots will become yellow. Right. And then he needs to go over these core locations, a preset number of passes. Okay. And once he does that, the red dots will turn green. Right. And once the red uh, dots turn green, he would have the option to end the calibration. And once he push end calibration, the system will calibrate itself, will take maybe 30 seconds, and it will give a message saying calibration done. And also it will provide three uh, text boxes showing the GPS coordinates of the test locations. So at that time, the operator can use the system, but the accuracy would be uh, compromised because he didn't enter the uh, density of the test locations. So okay. either he can use it the way it is, with yes. like less accuracy, or if he wants to incre increase the accuracy, he needs to test the density at these locations and enter it at a later time in the system to uh, get better performance, basically. So basically, it's like a set of traffic lights. Yeah. It's <laughs> literally set the, set the iPad up, or mm -hmm. the, the screen up, press the buttons, literally go backwards and forwards mm -hmm. over them, wait for the lights to Turn change green. color. Yeah. Uh, and we're good to go. Yes, you push and calibration and here we go, you get the uh, calibration done. Excellent, excellent, that sounds so straightforward. Yes. And after that, the operator can use the system basically either, he, he would have three options, density mapping, temperature mapping, or pass mapping, and he can toggle through them. So he can choose one of them to, to look at the mapping, but let's say he's looking at the density map. Right. He can, on the right side of the screen, he st yeah. still can see the value of the temperature and the uh, pass count. So even though you're looking at density, you can still see the real-time value of the temperature or uh, pass count. So you count. can see all three? Yes. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. So it's foolproof, really. Yep. It's set it up, calibrate it, run it, and away you go. Very user-friendly, very intuitive. Can this be stored? Yes. All the data that 
uh, is collected, the density data and the temperature and the pass counting, all of them are stored on, on this uh, device or display. And uh, the system can store up to sev seven months of uh, data collected, which means if the contractor is having a five day uh, work week, yep. uh, the system can store seven months of that, uh, of that type of data. Now, if I'm a contractor and I have a customer, I can go back in there, uh, say at night, and mm -hmm. say, I need to pull off what I've done today, the 10 miles, 15 miles, or whatever I've done. Can I do that? Yes. Uh, you can transfer the data uh, yes. to your computer, and there's a software called VEDA that's right. provided by the government. Right. And it will also uh, plot the data for you, and you can go over each lift, each location you compared it, and look at your density or temperature or pass counting. and uh, see what you did or what your operator did if you're the contractor so so from a customer from from my standpoint if I'm a contractor I can literally hear my specs mm -hmm. and literally at the end of the day I can go to the to the the, the customer and say this is exactly how that yes. map has been performed yes you, you can archive all the work you did all the compaction work you did so we can go back years later and say well this is the temperature we did it this is what we went over mm -hmm. so we've got the smoothness we've got that that's exactly how we want it that's excellent. That's tremendous news. Okay, um, how accurate is it? Well, uh, the system can provide density uh, within 1.5% accuracy right. to, to the uh, cut core, sample core. So, so if I core it, it's, it's within 1%, 1 yes. to 1.5% mm -hmm. of the core sample. Yes. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty mm -hmm. impressive. And the core density is the actual density. That's of course the most is. accurate value yes. you can get. No. Yes. So uh, th this is all great information. Y you've taught us about calibration, you've taught us about pass mapping, um, temperature gauging, and more importantly, you've got this density. You can test this density accurately on here. What it's giving us, Doctor, in my mind, is an experienced operator on every single job, whether they've been on the roller for one day or 30 years. Um, I think that's, that's great information. It's going to change the way that people do compaction. Um, I really, really want to thank you so much for your time, for coming on there uh, and, and speaking to us about this. And of course, if you really want more information, go to see your Volvo dealer or visit volvoce.com slash density direct. Thank you so much, Doctor, for your time today. Thank you. Thank you.